Hello, hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Ah, hi. I hope you can see my poorly lit video. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. We are Product PH. We are here to help connect product managers and would be product managers to each other and to industry leaders. Speaking of product management, today's show is going to talk about making the leap. Making the leap, breaking into IT product management from an IT background. If this is your first time joining, I just want to say, uh, clarify a few things. I am looking up constantly, but only because my monitor is there. I'm not, not, I'm not multitasking or anything. This is, this is how it actually works. My camera is tilted upwards, and I am working on a externally attached <laughs> video cam uh, just to make things happen. Uh, but speaking of making things happen, I am with some amazing people today who will be talking about how they make things happen from their own teams. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to our speakers. We have L from Kamada, your one-stop shop for your digital real estate needs, and Nexi, who is from Besa. BaseUp makes it easy to manage your appointments, service offerings, schedules, commissions, and more. You'll learn more about their companies, their teams, and why they do things that they do in today's show, as we are going to talk about how to make that leap from non-IT to IT. By the way, I too made that leap. I my education is actually from a nursing background so I've moved from patients to just having patience and uh, that's all you're getting from me <laughs> that's going to be my last joke for tonight but thank you for joining us today on product ph uh, where we talk about all the great things about product management and you know maybe someday video games Yana I know you can hear me Yana uh, one of our founders joining us from Japan and uh, but I want to thank everyone who's joined us today it is a weekend and you could be anywhere in the world today but you're here with us that's the line is from Jay-Z but you know obviously we're all at home um, but let's get it started and let's get into the actual content um, I want to thank our sponsors for today which is chat buddy which is our webinar platform. You can run your business on autopilot with ChatBuddy. And if you want to know more, you can find the links later as we project them on the screen. Ooh. Well, we're trying out a new product and I hope everyone is liking how the new look and feel. It's all very violet. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. All the new apps are purple now. Is that a thing? Huh. Must have missed a memo. Anyway, you can see the links from all our sponsors, Chat Buddy, Kamada, and Base Up. You'll learn more about them from our speakers. But if you want to know even more, we'll let you know after the show. Let's get started. Okay, today we are going to talk about how to break into the IT industry for product management when you're jumping in from non-IT. And like I said, I have two amazing people who's going to help talk about their experiences and their teams. We have Nexi from Besa. Nexi, if you could give a quick wave to our fans out there. Hi. Okay, there you go. And we have L from Kamada. Okay, Hi, let's get it started. Hello. Let's get it started. I know you're all itching to get into the content of the show. So let's begin. Uh, let, um, well, first of all, thank you, L and Nexi for joining us today and taking the time to speak with us. Um, uh, but let's get right to it. Let's start with you, Nexi. Nexi is uh, working for a startup called uh, Base App, and they're a booking management tool for solopreneurs. Mm, I'm writing that down. I'm going to use that <laughs> later. And businesses in the beauty and wellness industry. But I'm not the expert. I have the actual expert right here. Um, I'm going to give it to Nexi to Give us a brief intro and talk about uh, their team. Nexi? Thank you. Thank you, Gina. Um, so, yeah, uh, I work for BaseUp. It's a startup company. Uh, we handle mostly beauty and wellness and barber shops like Philippe and Sons. Um, we have the customer side of the product, which is the one, the video that I was showing earlier. And then we also have an admin side for the partners. So, yeah, that's how <laughs> uh, BaseUp works. I have been doing product management uh, for more than a year. So pretty new to this. Um, hopefully, I am. I will be helpful for those who are also new to this uh, industry. 
Mm, okay, okay. Thanks for that intro. Uh, Nexi, do you have a little something you want to show to our audience? Maybe a, a quick video uh, to uh, show about Beza? Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. That was quick and easy and breezy. I don't know about you guys, but Eric looks like he knows what he's doing with his hair. Um, uh, but so let me get this straight. Base up, uh just allows you to make these booking appointments uh, very quickly. And you enable this for your customers? Is that what's happening, Nexi? Yes, exactly. So right now, um, one of the problems in the pandemic is the back and forth of the schedules. Mm. So with BaseUp, it is automatically as accepted by the branch. So it only shows you the available time. And then the customers could also pay online. So yeah, <laughs> it's pandemic friendly, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Another word into the uh, uh, to, to the bucket, <laughs> pandemic friendly. Um, but yeah, haircut. Who who knew, guys? Haircut is a big thing now, and yeah. I don't think and I don't think any but everybody can keep uh, getting haircuts from uh, uh, from their family members like the whole year. Uh, so this looks very promising. This looks very promising. I myself have tried the the free haircut from home. Um, it has produced interesting results, I'll tell you that. But we'll need a whole a other picture. show. No, no. We'll need we'll need a whole other show for that. And we'll probably need a a whole show just for base up. So uh, so for everybody who's watching out there, you, you don't have to cut your own hair again. So uh, that's gonna make it easier. Um, uh, but let's hear about um, about uh, our our next speaker, uh, L. Can you, uh, L is um, uh, one of the co-founders of Kamada. She is actually the chief product officer. And as much as I like to give a good intro for Kamada, why don't we hear from the person who knows it best? I'll give it to you, L. I, um... First of all, thanks to Product PH for having us here, for inviting us um, on this on this talk. Uh, Kamata is a it's your one stop shop for digitalizing your real estate needs. It's the prop tech business of Umpisa. Um, Umpisa, on the other hand, is into um, building lasting and impactful digital businesses and products for people. Um, so that's what we do. We currently do consultancy services for for other companies and. Kamada is our first um, own product for Umpisa. So speaking of people, we are also a growing team. And if mm -hmm. there are any um, QAs, um, full stack developers, uh, business analysts who are um, open to joining a growing team, feel free to message me after this after this event. I like it. I like it right off the bat. You heard it first here, everybody. To everybody, to all the 20 people that's already in the show, you heard that right. Uh, Kamada is hiring. And uh, I believe that, uh, Nexi, you and your team are looking for some talent as well. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> uh, we're also <laughs> going. Um, we're looking for QAs uh, and front end developers. So if you know, uh, if you're someone who's knowledgeable about front end uh, React, uh, React JS, so yeah, message me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So for everybody who's joining us on each of our shows, not only are we talking about the speakers and their company, you don't know, maybe it's going to be your company in the future. So watch out for more episodes. However, if you want to know more on how to join their teams, we will be able to connect you with them and uh, who else better than with product managers and uh, I don't know, maybe a co-founder, maybe we have a co-founder that can help you get connected. Um, so uh, 
watch all the way to the show, guys, because we've got, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of questions, and we've got a lot of answers. Maybe we have the answers that you're looking for. Uh, but first, let's get started. There you go. Another quick preview from our speakers and their products. Now, uh, oh, oh, now I'm I'm having such a dilemma. I'm having such a dilemma. I know the topic is about uh, breaking into the IT industry, but I really want to know more about their products. Maybe we'll have time for that later. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's get started. Um, first, uh, Nexi. Uh, well, this goes to everyone. Um, I uh, I want to know. I want to know about your career history. How did you end up with Basecamp? I know, I know, and uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is your first job, is it not? First job, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, um, actually, a friend recommended Basecamp since at the time they were looking for a sales associate. Um, mm -hmm. So I joined Basecamp pretty early, right after my graduation. Like, I think I, I only waited like a few weeks, months, um, and then, what? yeah, I joined Base Up. So I started my career with them as a sales associate. I usually only did uh, calls, so sales calls, emails, and then, yeah, somehow found my way here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that statement. Found my way here. That's a that's a very uh, that's a very familiar story to everyone's heart in product management. Uh, so tell me, so so tell me, uh, what made you interested in in a tech product manager? You said you were uh, working with sales. How did yeah? How did that happen? So after doing sales for quite some time, I I realized I'm not getting the results that I wanted. So I kept on hmm. reading different articles. Um, and then one of the ar articles that I read said that you need to know your product. At that time, I thought I knew my product, but what's missing was I didn't know how our customers perceived it. I didn't know their language. I didn't know how, how to sell it um, in their like way <laughs> and, mm. and translating the features to, to a CLC um, wording, I guess. So I started calling them up. I started uh, understanding their perception about us, what they love and don't love about this up. And then Suddenly, I found my way to product management because of the improvements that they mentioned upon mm. talking to them that this this could be good, um, this could be improved. And th th those statements made me realize that, okay, um, I think we could we could improve something here. We're on to something. So that's how I <laughs> moved to product. It, it, the, it didn't have any like actual moment that, okay, this is what I will do. Um, mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was, um, a process for me yeah mm, okay 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 so i guess it is true it's the journey is what it is it's the whole journey <laughs> uh um, i am interested uh, speaking of journey uh now i want to hear now i want to hear from um, um l l uh product manager co-founder i want to know the details what is up with that how what was uh, uh, how did that journey happen so um, I started working immediately after graduation also. I graduated in 2012. Give me a second. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> Both of you started working as soon as you graduated. Yes. Am I the outlier here, guys? Someone in the chat, tell me. <laughs> Somebody else took a day off. Is it just me? No? <laughs> Come on. You're both making me feel bad here. Um, I'm sorry I interrupted you, Al. Uh, continue. No, it's just so. fine. Um, so went right away to work like, yeah literally like three days after graduation i started working um i started at fully booked i did some marketing and then i left um, i joined western union as for forex foreign exchange um then i left also and entered ayala land's uh, management trainee program so when I entered the island, I did project development for them, which is essentially the same, almost the same as product mm -hmm. management, except it was in a different industry. Um, so that's what I did for a few years. Um, I handled residential um, projects for one brand. And then I left Ayala, moved to uh, a solar company and did business development. 
business development is also like product management, but that's how they called it. Um, it mm. was business development for them. Um, and then after that, um, I moved to Habitat for Humanity. Um, I did resource development for them. And in essence, um, at its core, it's also somewhat like product management. Um, but it was called resource development um, in of, Habitat for Humanity. Of course it was. Of course it yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after that, I went back to Iyalo Land for, um, under a different department, um, the one handling estate developments. Um, I stayed there until 2018. Um, 2018 was when I had a relapse. Um, I, ha I have an autoimmune um, business called CIDP. Um, and, mm -hmm. and I had a relapse in 2018. Um, so I had to leave the real estate industry because um, the disease left me literally paralyzed for, for a few months. Um, so after, after treatment, um, what I did was I started looking for an industry where I could just be in front of the desk all day. So of course, tech was the first industry that came to mind. <laughs> um, I applied for the scholarship program um, of FTW Foundation. Um, mm -hmm. they, have a they had a data science program. So mm -hmm. um, I applied for that and I got in. And that's where I met Pam, who is the president and um, co-founder founder of Umpesa. Um, that's how I met her. I met her as a potential employer. And so after that program, well, I did join Umpesa. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's how I got into tech product management. Yeah. So that's, okay. that's my story and my journey. Okay, okay. So, so let me get this straight. Um, you went through uh, different ver versions of product management. Why does everybody get like, a lot of people say that? This is why people keep asking me this. Uh, so, how is your job different from XYZ job? I'm like, it's not. <laughs> it's it, it kind of, it, it's, it's not. But uh, we work on the internet and we're always at home. I think, uh, yeah, so. If there's if there's one thing, everyone that uh, should be top of your priority for being a product manager is that uh, you get to stay at home forever. That's it. Like done deal. We can we can end the show right there. That's the that's the best motivator. Okay. Um, it, it sounds like <clears throat> um, it really was a journey for uh, the both of you. Um, during that journey, though, how uh, how was your first day? as a product manager, like, um, let's give the question uh, to Nexi first. If yeah, this was just um, your first so job and then you, you landed, you found product manager. How's the first day? <laughs> How did that work out? Yeah, so since my process is different, I feel like it's different from anyone else's. It's not something that I, uh, I intentionally wanted to do at first. So mm. I think it was pretty light. I started with reporting bugs <laughs> and then documenting them. So it wasn't it wasn't like anything super serious at that time. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> the trap. You got trapped. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, okay. Um uh very familiar though. My first my first project was uh taking uh, care of bugs. Oh my I guess I shouldn't say that. Sorry, <laughs> Caliber. Caliber is amazing. There are no bugs whatsoever. It does not exist. It does not exist. It does not exist. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, that is very, that is very familiar. Uh, yeah. I, uh, and I'll be honest. I think um, when I was working on um, just a few bugs, like five, maybe just five, <laughs> the entire lifetime that I was in Caliber, uh, uh, that's when I really started to uh, understand um what the product was and how and how it really worked mm -hmm. because i found out what wasn't working mm. Mm. interesting interesting um, um speaking of bugs how how was your journey for that how was your journey uh it, uh, since you are co-founder you did you start the whole thing you start the whole gig uh with the product how how, how did that journey happen what was your first day? Did you just say, oh, I'm going to be co-founder today? I, I, uh, I don't know how these work. I don't know. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, when I joined Umpesa, I joined Umpesa last Feb 2020. So that, that's mm. a little over a year ago. Um, I mm. started out as a product manager. Okay. Um, Kamada was already in the works then. 
like a oh. bare bones type of um product. Mm-hmm. Then um so when I came in, we I introduced some improvements, um added some new features and fixed the UI tried to fix the UI UX with the team. She um, was bugs. She was fixing bugs. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Um so and then um eventually well we're we're in the process of developing version two at the moment. So um what we're trying to do is we're going to spin off Kamata eventually as a, a separate business entity. Um so um oh. I was asked by Pam to be a co founder just this year for Kamata for that separate business entity. So that's how it was for me. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. That's uh, uh that's wonderful. So it is a familiar story, my at first, least from my first like... day. Yeah. yeah, my first day though last year was was pretty chill. Um, I asked Pam and the CEO, um, what do I do on my first day? <laughs> and they said, um, just read up on product management, uh, agile methodology. Just, just familiarize yourself with the processes first. But but yeah, it it, it does differ per company. Um, mm. there are there are companies where it's going to be chill on your first day, but there are companies where it's all about jumping in the middle of the action on your mm. first day. So so I think the best way um uh, is if you can ask your contact person like what what to expect beforehand so that mm. you're more prepared to do for your first day. Um that's something that you can do. But um yeah it, it's going to it's going to be different for company. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I get that. Um I did so I did go through that uh, uh journey too. Uh well with the whole oh you know just sit there. Sit there <laughs> Find bugs, be the fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, I, I was a mascot for a few weeks. I was a mascot for a few weeks. So uh, fixing uh, bugs, learning, uh, throwing me a lot of books. And, and there is a lot. There is a lot of books. There's so much content out there that it is both easy and exhausting to just find the right one. Um, but since you you both we all started our journey. We just sort of found our way there. Uh, speaking of content, uh, 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 Nexi, what are your what are some of the books that you found and said, "Oh, this makes sense. This is not just some random people talking about how great technology is." Uh, do you have any <laughs> recommendations for books or mm-hmm. content? Yeah. So I think like the first legit book that I've read was the Lean Product book. Um, mm-hmm. I think it was the first book that really explained what MVP is for me. <laughs> so it was my turning point. I I used to I thought I used to understand um MVP, but after reading that book, it, it made it clear for me. And then aside from that, um, mostly most of the time I asked the help of my sister Anne. So she was the one who actually exposed me to product PH and then mm. uh, dragged me along the different meetups that we have <laughs> uh, pre pre COVID. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's how I kind of learn, and then I also read a lot of threads, and I think it's a different. Um, I, I have a different way of learning. It's it's mm-hmm. I appreciate the data more when it comes from people who have experienced it firsthand. So mm-hmm. going into the group and reading threads and posts that oh they have this problem too. So okay, um, I know what to do now. So it it's 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 a great community. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, aside from product PH, obviously, um, uh, we'll also share links uh, some of these forums um, for our audience who would like to find out where you can find a lot of these content, uh, uh, share what we've even covered from the minds. Uh, speaking of, uh, how about your content, El? Um, what have you mentioned uh, books, uh, learning about uh, methodologies, I'm pretty sure Agile was thrown there every five seconds because um, it was it's the best thing ever. Um, uh, what are some of the content um, that they that was very uh, very impactful or very helpful for you in the early stages? Um, I think it was a definition of terminologies because of course mm. it's a new industry. Um, there are a lot of different new terminologies that I had to familiarize myself with, like sprints, mm. story points, velocity, issues, bugs. It's a difference between an issue and a bug. Mm. Um, how do you 
So so those things, um, I had to look them up. And of course, Google was my best friend. Um, aside from Google, um, the CTO is very helpful to have the CTO around and just be able to ask um, this, this technical person, like, what is mm-hmm. the difference from your point of view? What is the difference between these two terms, and etc.? Um, aside from that, um, in terms of product management, I did take up courses on edX.org. It's it's mm. a very useful um, site for me. I mean, okay. even before pandemic happened, um, okay. they do have a lot of classes on a plethora of different topics. So that's something to keep in mind. Edx.org. Um, mm-hmm. What else? Mountain Goat Software um, website. They have blogs um, about uh, agile methodologies, Scrum, etc. Um, that was referred to me by one of the CTO consultants in Ubisa. It's a, it's a good resource as well. Um, yeah, those were a few things that um, helped me in my first few days or weeks um, in product management. Mm, but yes, okay. Google, Google is your best friend. <laughs> it's, it still is. It still yes, is. Still and, and, and I think if, if we have some developers out there, I know Google is your very best friend. I know. I know how it works. I know. I know where the answers are found. I know. I've done my research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it is crazy just how how how, my, how many made up word there is out there in the ethos, you know, uh, to throwing out uh, velocity in my face, like I would understand uh, what, the, what the concept of that number would be. Um, but yeah, it, it has been a very very Google googly journey uh google i know you can hear us i know you can hear us uh just 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 make us just make us a place where we can find this easy don't 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 make with the browser anyway um uh speaking of uh words and terminology uh as a product manager you both have to interact with a lot of the themes from technology, uh, I I find it uh, the most daunting and the most uh, uh, interesting conversations in the first few weeks because uh, uh, I've only I've only just been introduced to velocity. You, you can't throw me words like uh, Kubernetes. What is that? You just throwing you just throwing letters around. Um, uh, how did that work? How did you work into bridging? Uh, how did both of you work into bridging that gap? Understanding understanding the lingo, getting into 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 the vibe. Uh, why don't we start with uh, the developers? Uh, yeah. Until now, they're inside technology jokes. I still don't get which which why the only motivation why I want to learn code just so I can get the jokes. But uh, how did you? Cope up uh, with it, uh, Nexi. How did you uh, get to write the same language, the same language? Yeah, so um, when I was starting, I didn't realize how technical devs would be. Um, I was used to giving like vague instructions uh, and then just <laughs> assume that the receiving end would get me. <laughs> but working with them made me realize that, okay, I have to compose this better. I have to share my ideas properly so that I could get them on board. And then um, slowly through asking, reading, a lot of mm-hmm. doubting yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned how to give, uh, how to give clear ex- instructions. I feel like I improved, but at the same time, there's still a lot of room for improvements because I, I still don't understand their jokes as well. So, <laughs> um, here for the memes. I can't use here for the memes. I'm, I'm I just here for understand. the memes. I'm here for the memes. <laughs> yeah, I can. No, no, uh, uh, that is very true. That is very true. I, I, I'm just in here for the memes, guys. The, the memes <laughs> and the anime and the K-pop. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't even begin to understand. Uh, there's just uh, so many things. Uh, yes, uh, and thank you. A lot of doubting myself. Uh, shout out <laughs> to everyone. If you're joining, if you want to be a product manager or you just started, you're a few days in. If you're not doubting yourself, you're not doing it right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's when you know. When you know, you know. That's you know. when you. That's when you know. That's when you know. Um, <laughs> how about you, L? How about how how was that journey? Uh, 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 creating that, uh, bridging that communication uh, with the developers because they 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 they're so technical. 
uh, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me just comment on one thing. And the next he said, oh, uh, uh, this is how I want to do it. And, you know, uh, there are so many details that goes into that, you know. And sometimes I'm like, it can't be that hard, can it? It really is, guys. It really <laughs> is. Uh, but how did you? But how did you communicate with your team? Oh, how did you communicate with your team? Um, so when I started out, so I I came from a non-tech background also. Um, mm -hmm. I graduated from business management. Um, and when I entered the real estate industry and did project project development, um, I had to talk also to architects and engineers who had like five, 10, 15 years of experience. And I had to lead them and manage um, and manage the team, right? And I was, there I was a fresh graduate um, coming in with no experience at all. <laughs> so, fresh out of college, fresh um, out of college, okay. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, so it, it was hard to gain their trust um, because of course there's already a certain um, type of dynamics that's present mm. when I came mm. in. Um, <clears throat> so what I did was, um, I think this is something that most people don't emphasize enough. It's the power of observation. Um, so for the first few days or weeks, um, what I do is really, I, I just observe. Um, I observe how they talk. I observe how they do their tasks. I observe um, their personalities, like how they work, what type mm. of person they are. Um, I think mm. it's important to understand those in, in order to be able to deal or work with them properly, you know, aside from learning or bridging that um, technical gap. Yep. Uh, so so that's what I do during the first few days. Um, so when I did tech pro product management, uh, it was essentially the same um, style that I used or incorporated. So I observed for the first few days or weeks. Um, I tried to understand what they were making, the product that was already there. Um, mm -hmm. It helped that I took that data science course prior to joining the company because then I had some um, background and was familiar with some of the tech terms that they used. Mm -hmm. um, so that was helpful for me. Um, but again, Google was my best friend, you know, in trying to understand um, the things or concepts that they were talking about. You know, like mm -hmm. what you said, mentioned earlier, Kubernetes. Kubernetes doctor, um, what, what is that even? What is that even? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> shout out on the chat. What is that even? I, so, feel like, um, I feel like the devs are just messing with me. I don't want to like... So so um really it's 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 it starts from observation and then um trying to figure out a way how to work with them and then learning along the way. It's it's really a process of learning. Um you learn as you go, mm -hmm. grow as we go. Um, so that's that's how it was for me. Oh no 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 that is a. Uh... That is a, a, a very uh, a powerful uh, uh, sentence. Uh, you, you talked about <clears throat> um, ob observation. Uh, both of you talked about uh, observation and really taking the time to get to know the people that you work with. And, uh, and I wanted to emphasize this for everyone who's, who's, who's watching or listening right now. Um, I would say uh, the biggest investment that I've had to make um, was really taking the time to know the people that I would be working with because uh, uh, the the knowledge wouldn't get there fast enough. And um, establishing that trust with uh, limited opportunities to manifest it and show that you know what you're doing. I still don't. I still don't. I still don't. <clears throat> um, the trust really comes w when you found uh, common points or bridges. And the only way I think you can do that is when you get to know each other. Thank you. Someone said uh, Kubernetes is a container orchestration platform usually used with Docker containers. Thank you for um, uh, assuming that I would make any sense of, uh, of that. Um, I, know, I know the memes about Kubernetes. Uh, but again, another thing that I will look up. But uh, uh, to everyone out there, Google is your best friend. And the teams really will take the time to walk you through it. They will teach you. They will, in fact, very, very uh, be passionate to tell you that, no, Gino, we cannot have a video on your app in two months because that's not a thing. Like, it's not that hard. 
can't be that hard. How does YouTube done it? Oh, because they have a billion dollars, obviously. <clears throat> um, so, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, um, how about working? Uh, how about working with quality analysts, or uh, uh, as I would uh, describe them, uh, 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 corporate law. <laughs> They they say what is right and uh, and what is wrong, and uh, um, uh, what is a feature and what is a bug. Obviously, if no one notices, it becomes a feature. I'm kidding. Um, but let's go. <laughs> all the all the product managers in the in the show it's like, oh, that's we don't have bugs, no bugs. Um, uh, uh, how about you, uh, Nexi? Nexi, uh, uh, yeah. how do you start or uh, working with the quality team? Yeah, so I, I think. So I started doing that job um, since we didn't have that person before. But mm. I I had to request for an additional person that would help me with quality control because I know that my technical skills were lacking. Um, yeah, you, you sometimes miss something. Uh, so yeah, I requested for that. I think the only challenge that I had to do here is um, the onboarding part. So basically explaining mm. your process since every product is unique. So you have to explain your process. You have to explain that this feature sh should be doing this, not this. So those stuff, and and you should be. Um, that hurts. Very... <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just too personal. Let's um, let's slow down on these. Um, I, I I know I know the last episode of Attack on Titan aired. Is this Attack on GN? Like what is going on? I feel like I'm getting punked. No, no, I'm sorry. Continue. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's the only challenge because, again, I've worked with a lot of great people. Um, they they're very patient with me uh, and asking questions <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, actually, right now we're on the process of adding selenium, uh, so that we could have a better and easier, more efficient process in in the mm. Yeah. Okay. I like I like that little slide in. That was really smooth. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, how uh, how about you, El? What, what was your journey uh, uh, with the quality team? We worked with bugs, so we kind of had something going on. How was that journey for you? Um, it's it's a bit different for me because um, well, I'm a very OC person. Until oriented, so um, I catch, <laughs> I catch no! a lot of, <laughs> I catch no. a lot of bugs. Um, but so, um, what, what's important is to define that of uh, expected results during the sprint, um, sprint plan sessions. It's important mm -hmm. to define them step by step, of course. Um, Right off the bat, I wasn't able to do that yet because I was still trying to familiarize myself with the process. Um, but eventually, we adapted that. So um, during sprint planning, we would um, we would define um, the expected results and um, do it step by step so that it would be easier for the QAs to test it out. Um, yeah, that's how, that's how it was for me. Uh, I think, if anything, um, it's really just, I hope, QAs are OC people because you know it's it's their um it's their I think they know. I think they know. <laughs> to touch box. Um yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh... I think we'd need a we uh, everyone, I think we need a whole show just to talk about uh bugs, QA, and the whole shebang. I'm putting it out there, Anna. We're we're doing it. We're just gonna do a show just for it. We're just gonna sh we're just gonna come in there, and and share war stories. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna make us a billion dollars. Everyone just wanna listen to it. Um, okay. Uh, speaking of um, working and uh, trying to navigate and understand how that works. Um, oh, someone said Anna just said, Q QA versus devs. Ooh. Um, uh, we're starting, oh my God, we're starting a whole YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to want L, L Nexi, I want you back. We're just going to start a whole show about it. And oh my God, this is dangerous. Okay. Um, we'll get back to that. Later. I'm like, sidetrack. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> um, uh, I think, uh, one that is very, uh, 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 what's the word? What's the word that I'm looking for? It's not Kubernetes. Um, uh, or I think, uh, mm, oh my God, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, 
I can't. Uh, sorry, nakakatakot. <laughs> I can't think of a better word for it. Not scary. Don't be scary. Um, but uh, as a product manager, one of the main responsibilities is uh, working with the stakeholders, the owners. You know, just the people who pay your salary. You know, just those people. Um, how? What is your advice to uh, people trying to join product management? Because just thinking about it, just talking to, to the boss makes me want to, yes, mm, in my, just and just swallow it back. Um, how was that? Oh, oh, you know what? Very interesting. We actually have a stakeholder. Uh, Nexi, how? Uh, uh, L L how 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 does that work? Since y you you get the pitch to the stakeholder, and now you're a stakeholder. Oh, the world! It's a... Come, <laughs> how, how, how do you? Uh, what is your advice? Uh, how do people want to uh, uh, go into product management? Just deal with that and say it is not as terrifying as it sounds. Um, it definitely depends on the employer you're working with, right? But um, <laughs> what's important is <laughs> what's important for me is transparency and being direct. Um, like if there are problems, just say it out, right? Uh, we, we can solve a problem if we don't know there's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just just be direct and out, right? Um, it, it's it Saturday, out, right? but what uh, we're in a church. That needs to be solved. It's a, it's a preach. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, transparency also. Um, I think that's very important for me. For me, it's it's very important. Uh, transparency. Those two things actually, um, I think matter to the stakeholders. Um, and of course, as product managers, we should know the products ins and outs. Um, so just familiarize yourself with everything. <laughs> Just know everything just about everything, the product. Just everything. <laughs> just small things to everything. Yeah, just everything. Just everything. So, um, um, yeah, I think that that's basically it. Of course, it's always a journey. Um, there are things that you're going to miss out on. But um, high level, you should be able to discuss what your product is, um, how mm -hmm. it's working, mm -hmm. um, how development is going, what the problems are, etc. How you're planning to sell it, uh, for those things. Okay, okay. No, that's true. Um, uh, and I think all that comes from really knowing your product. I think uh, for uh, everybody wants to be product management. If there's something you need to learn about on day one, you need to start investing on learning about the product because it all starts there. Just be obsessed with it. I don't know, fix bugs. That's that's how it works. Um, um, what, what? How about you, Nexi? How about you? How 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 do you pre how did you prepare for eventually that first time? Oh my God, I need to talk <laughs> to to the person who signs my check. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So since our company is pretty small, I actually grew close to our CTO and CEO. I talk mm. to them every day. Um, and then what I noticed since I started doing the PM tasks, um. Mm. It was different in a way that I had to share my idea, not just like bluntly. I had to back it up with data, why it's important, why, the, why do we have to do this now? Um, so those stuff. Um, and then it was hard to learn for me because I'm not usually like a very, again, tech-savvy person. Mm -hmm. um, they saw me struggle using a Mac laptop. <laughs> um, so it was, it was hard to earn their trust at first. But mm -hmm. since I was able to back my idea with, um, with the data, uh, yeah, they... they Soon enough, I they trusted me, and then they saw that I'm just doing this for 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 a product. So yeah, that's that's how I, <laughs> that's how I usually do it. <laughs> mm. Nice, nice. Uh, it really is. It really is investment. Uh, in, in your case, uh, it, it must have taken a ton of conversations, a ton of oh, can I grab you for a minute? That turns into a whole day meeting. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. No. It. I, can I grab you for like two minutes and then you never leave? No, it's, no, like it's like a time zone. It's like a time zone. No, it's it's not as a, in it's not as scary as it sounds. You're just gonna be trapped there like forever. 
uh, when the stakeholders just you know throw ideas at you because you know the sun is shining and now there's a there's a new thing we want to do um uh with that being said though uh because uh, ideas come in left and right left and right uh it, it's it's not just going to be about data it's going to be about um what customers will be saying, or I guess the, the highest paying customers will be saying. We we actually t- touched on this topic uh, lightly, lightly, uh, in a previous episode <clears throat> uh, with Freddie. And my question to Freddie and uh, my question to, to the both of you um, is when it comes to uh, getting these ideas, uh, obviously you're talking to stakeholders. Uh, the big boss, the big boss, or the clients uh, with the big money. How are the both of you making your, uh, what is your advice uh, to people who want to be product manager? How can they prepare to uh, start uh, negotiating? <laughs> Nego- That's my polite nay of saying, how do you say no? Um, negotiating all of these ideas from stakeholders. How did you, how did you get to uh, get to be familiar, uh, comfortable with managing these ideas, knowing that, oh my God, this client will give us a million dollars. This boss, well, he signs my check. So like, well, how did you prepare for that? Uh, oh, what is your advice? Uh, Nexi, uh, for people who want to start going to product management because they will get, you know, oh, so many ideas. <laughs> yeah, um, when it comes to ideas, of course, well, most of them were inspired by your customers. So, like, wh- when you get them uh, talk about what they need, uh, what's their problem, mm-hmm. uh, you, you sort of be in, uh, get inspired with, with those. Um, but... Yeah, talking to the customers is actually a different uh, process, and whew, uh, it's a different <laughs> thing for me. So, so. I was waiting. I was waiting for her. So oh, she's gonna say it. She's gonna say it. She's gonna. Like, no, talking to customers. I'm, trying, I'm thinking is of the better. best part yeah. of my job. <laughs> I'm thinking of better words, but I guess what worked with them is is just listen, uh, listen to their issues, listen to their problems, understand why you need this feature yet, and if it if it's uh, aligning to your um, goal as a mm. PM. So, like for example, your um, timely goal for for this month or for this year. Um, so yeah, just listen to them, I guess, and then maybe um, if it makes sense uh, to do it, add it to your backlogs. So yeah, I think <laughs> consider consider their ideas as well. Just don't initially say no because it, mm. yeah, it's, it's it's not okay <laughs> to initially say no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so to our <laughs> listeners out there, the key word is initially. You could say no later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can say no. You can say no later. You can say no later. Um, uh, uh, I am going to say that that uh, next you said something very valuable. You said um, uh, listen to their problems. Listen, uh, uh, really listen to what they're saying. Um, in my case, uh, because there were so many things people were saying. I decided, oh, so why don't I just do it myself? I, I want to know what the problem is. And I actually uh, I, I actually used our product as a recruiter. For, for people who don't know, I used to work with Calibre, which is a recruitment uh, a software end-to-end. And uh, I could not, for the life of me, understand why we'd want XYZ products. Not only would it not be in the roadmap, it just didn't make any sense because I didn't understand it. And when I started using it, and when I started, oh my God, this is, you know, that's when you know. Um, So uh, I I think what I would share is that, um, oh my God, it's it's all going back to just trying out your product. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it out loud for people in the back, you try (laughs) out your product, you will, you are already 50% closer uh, uh, to joining us in our journey. 
Mm, wow. I just had a, a <laughs> Eureka a discovery. This is see these what this is why these sessions are wonderful. I I don't get to talk to people. Now now I understand. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Um uh okay. Exactly okay. something yeah. No, go it's ahead. Exactly something that I did as well. Um, yeah, using your using your product, I actually stayed um, with some of our partners for the whole day, just observe, um, see how what's their process like because it's different, mm. like um, virtual. So now virtually, but or, or on a call. Mm. But if you're really there and then observing and then getting their comments um, firsthand, it's it's a different experience and it's very helpful as a as a PM. Yes, absolutely. Could not agree more. Um, how about you, El? Uh, what uh, what was your journey I I into um, climbing that uh, first wall of uh, with the first meeting and try to pitch an idea, and then you get seventeen thousand more, and then you say, okay, well then this is the idea that we go with. How was your journey? For that? What is your advice for for people who may find that intimidating? You do brought up very good points. Um, so I'm not going to touch on those things anymore. So for me, um, what, what I'm going to say is that it's important to learn how to um, balance the needs, expectations, both needs and expectations. So planning is a very important skill um, of a PM. And if you have that concrete vision of what your product is, and if you're able to communicate it to all stakeholders, um, then that's that's already something. So we can have client A demanding for a particular feature with a super tight deadline and you have to know how to use <laughs> the client and explain uh, why you can or can't deliver what they're asking for, right? Um, so that's something that you have to learn. Like uh, you have to learn how to appease clients um, because mm. it will happen in your journey as a product manager. Um, you have to explain things to them, especially if they're not um, tech people, if they're just um, business people um, who are part of the executive com committees, um, they're not going to understand that it's difficult to develop a product. Um, why is it going to take this much time? Um, <laughs> so, um, that's something that you have to explain to them. Um, there will definitely be a tension between managing your short-term and long-term objectives. So another mm. important skill to develop is knowing how to prioritize. Um, but how do you know which features to prioritize, right? Um, I think prioritization itself merits a completely different or separate talk or discussion. <laughs> <laughs> because um, yeah, there like are too much trauma. Really. Exactly. There are a lot of different factors um, that affect prioritization. Mm. Um, like what stage is your product in? Who are your mm. target customers? Um, What's your team size? Do you have enough resources? Uh, what... <laughs> never. I never. We never have it. We never. Uh, what's ah! the nature of your product, right? Um, so those are very important skills. But yeah, like I said, prioritization is a completely different animal <laughs> that merits its own talk. But but if if you want to discuss that, um, feel free to message me offline. Uh, we can you know discuss. Um, offline, so there, yeah, that's how that's, that's it. No, for no, me. absolutely, absolutely. Um, so everyone, uh, everyone on the uh, show today, uh, who are listening, uh, if after the show, if if after the show, uh, you want to try uh, looking up getting experiences or stories from from uh, other teams or products or, or companies, I would absolutely recommend, absolutely recommend and i live by this to talk with local startups first very important and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna tell you why because i, I have found i found the day will be uh, the closest to uh, to having it will be the closest to having the same experiences as you are because while it's inspiring to read um commentary from people in apple and Google, their ideas are backed by a billion dollars with a B. So become when it becomes a million pesos, then you talk to me. See, if you want if you want to start learning, I absolutely recommend 
aside from learning about your product, I absolutely recommend you start talking with local startups and get their stories. It will be super, super important, super helpful. And look no further, there are two of them right here, which you can talk right after the show, Nexi and L, if you want to learn more about what some of those experiences are. But we're not done. We're just I just want to like sort of segue. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna go into uh, talking more about prioritization, but uh, 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 L, you, you got it right on the head. That is a different animal. That is Mesozoic era. That is Jurassic Park. It's not even the same hemisphere. We need another show after QA versus devs. Well, we'll do that again later. Because uh, my my other question was going to say, how do you say no to the money? No, <laughs> let's not. Let's not even start with that. Let's not even start with that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, uh, both of you have uh, been doing this for some time now, and you know, obviously, it has been a journey, but. Uh, for all journeys, there is always a highlight, a high point. Um, what, at least as of now, seven eight oh three um, April twenty four. What is your? Uh, what would you say was your uh, uh, a day in the sun? What is was what was your highest point? When did you? When would you feel the happy? Let's not use the word happiest. Uh, product managers will get uh, triggered by that. Look at now, happiest. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? There's always improvement. I'm not. I'm. I'm not happy. No. <laughs> um, what is your? Uh, what do we say? Your biggest accomplishment has been so far, or your most proud of? Oh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Most proud of. Uh, very quickly. L. Most proud of. Um, it's launching. Basically, launching Kamada last September um, and being able to close a B2B deal in like a week. Um, yeah, that was the start of, uh, of, our, of my um, tech PM experience so far. Within a week? Signed up a client <laughs> within a week? After launching? Uh, not after. Yeah, yeah. We've already launched Kamada then. Um, so that was September 2020. That's when we launched Kamada. Um, mm. We started talks with this company um, October, October. October. Um, okay. We met with them a couple of times during the week. And then by the end of the week, they're like, okay, let's do this. Um, we'll prepare the contract. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how many, how many, yeah. how many, how many hours? <laughs> After that, before you started screaming, like uh, give me an estimate. Like, how happy? How when? When did the happy screaming start? As soon as that happened, very quickly. It was like, um, I I try not to be too happy. <laughs> <laughs> so see, there was see, happy see. screaming. <laughs> this is this is why I don't use the word happy. Like, not happy. I can always improve. I'm happy. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I just started reading about resources after noticing <laughs> that. You know, like, it's a, I mean, it's how a are high, you doing this? It's a high peak, and then it just drops off. Like it just is very quickly, very quick. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. it's uh, a client, and then now I have to do work. Oh no, I was kidding. <laughs> how do we do <laughs> this? <laughs> uh, what have we done? Yeah, yeah. Why did I say yes? What have we done? <laughs> What have we done? Oh my god! Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nexi, Nexi, how about you? Well, what was your? We need to. We need a term for this. <laughs> we need a term for this. Uh, so I think the biggest accomplishment accomplishment so far is redesigning our widget. Um, mm. we we received uh some comments before on on our old widget, and then hearing good feedback, better feedback um to mm -hmm. the new one, which is like the, this is the I think the first. Um, like big product that I I handled. Um, it mm -hmm. was last year, and yeah, it was. I, I, again, I don't want to say happy, but at that time, <laughs> I was very I was very proud uh, of that moment <laughs> because it was my first. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, for uh, people watching, 
we are happy. <laughs> we just don't, we just avoid using that word. <laughs> just, because there's a, there's a thing, there's a thing. Happiest sign, and now you have to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to do work. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so there is, there is uh, uh, learning all the words. There's learning all the words. There's learning all the memes. There is um, uh, working uh, with uh, stakeholders. And then there is um, all the requests. What would you say, though? What would you say, though? Um, don't think about it too long. I want to, like, very off the top. Uh, three of the most challenging things that you experienced when you were switching over to product management. Let's go with you, Nexi. Let's go with you, Nexi. <laughs> yeah. Um, so first three things uh, will be, well, well, first is the responsibility. Again, <laughs> at first, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was like, it was, it was a shock for me um, yeah, to take know. that responsibility, just like the prioritization thing. Uh, yeah, it, it took me a lot of, um, yeah, <laughs> learning uh, to master it. And then uh, second would be um, time management. Uh, I still do some sales and marketing on the side. So I had to figure out like a way to juggle um, sales, marketing, sometimes even customer success and onboarding. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, and, and pretty like I think PM is like an all around job. Uh, I think that's the definition of it because you have to understand. If, <laughs> you have My to boss understand. will hear you. Don't say that. <laughs> you have to understand it 360. So I, yeah, so that's the second one. And then the third one would be something that I asked uh, one of the speakers uh, a year ago. Uh, his yeah. name is Mark Lasamana, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then. My question that time was, how do you, what do you do if you're too attached to the product? So, I, so it was, it was very hard for me to, to see base up in a different light and perspective at that time. So I think his answer was, um, we've all been there, uh, but it comes with maturity. So I've thought about it since then. And then I realized that if you can't accept criticisms about you, uh, you will never improve. Same thing with your mm. product. Um, if you can't accept criticisms from your customers or from other stakeholders, you will never improve your output just because you chose to take it personally. So it was a big uh, eureka moment for me. Mm. Yeah. No, that was uh, whew, that was right here. That was right here. Uh, that's right. The more you learn, the more you use about your product, the closer you get attached yeah. to it, which is, I would say, uh, uh, one of the uh, more trickier parts mm. is because when you start investing, investing into learning, uh, understanding the product, that's when you develop genuine understanding. That's when you really like it. You don't say, oh, mm. it's, a, it's a nice, you know, I like how everything in graphics looks like. It's not <laughs> that. It's, it's understanding how your product really does what it says it does. Yeah. And um, uh, I, I would say in my first weeks, uh, every client comment, I would just reply. Like, <laughs> people had to uh, physically uh, restrain me and say, you, you, you know, you can't, you can't reply to all good comments. I can. I can. <laughs> I can. I replied to all the bugs. Right? <laughs> I can do this all day. I mean, when I say all the bugs, there was like five again. <laughs> what are bugs? I don't even. I don't even know that. No biggie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Um. um no biggie. Um. How about you, L? Uh, what are those top three things? Uh. Uh. That really was a, a very different. Um. From your. Uh from your uh, uh, job description before you became product manager. You mentioned though, you mentioned that uh, a lot of the titles that they're answering, oh, it's just like product manager. It's just like product manager. What, was, uh, what would be the three things that really like super change, very different? Uh, yeah, so what I mentioned earlier, right, it, it was just some sort of differences in the terminologies. So what mm -hmm. was different for me was the culture because I came from mostly a corporate background and then I moved to the startup industry. Um, so first thing would be resources, um, you know, <laughs> <No>! resources. 
resources, they're all finite. But when you come from the corporate world and then you move to the startup, you start to see resources in the corporate world in a different way. Like, oh, we had so much resources back then. And then now it's just um, everything's limited. Your funding is limited. Um, people is limited. Um, so that's the first challenge. Um, <laughs> exactly. Um, um, there's not a lot of um, resources at our disposal when you're working at the startup. So that was the first challenge um, that I had to overcome. Next would probably, it's it's quite similar to that. Um, it's more of a culture, um, again, coming from a corporate background and then mm. um, startup industry. Uh, mm. I was used to working with people um, who had like 10, 15 years of experience. And then a startup, um, I'm now working with people who have like, who are fresh grads or um, who have like three to five years of experience. So I had to change how I deal with them or how I talk to them and um, handle um, handle interactions with them. The last would be time management also. Um, like what Nexi mentioned, um, EM is basically like an all-around job. <laughs> Jack and Jane, no. all grades. Um, so it's, so it's, it's how to juggle everything and, you know, still stay sane. I guess. Um, Let me stay. That's, that's Let me the... stay. Stay sane. That's the that's last um, challenge. Those, those are the top three for me. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to say, though, and then it's going to comment on the last part um, for prioritization and time management. For me, I just stopped believing in time. That's, a, that's my secret. Time is a, a social construct. I don't need to live in fear of it. So uh, when uh, people ask me, when is it going to be delivered? You just say, when it's done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank God my boss isn't. Casper, uh, if you're here, uh, anybody in Caliber? No, I just can't. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, really changing that dynamic of how you uh, perceive things like uh, resources, uh, time. What is time really? What is time really? Um, um, uh, I would say that uh, when becoming a product manager, time uh, just becomes, well, how much resources do we have? And uh, that is <laughs> that is now what time will be because the more uh, resources you have, the faster things go. So time isn't uh, really real. Time is, it's it, I would say prioritization. Again, don't want to go into that. It's it's a whole it's a whole different thing. But it go I, I guess it goes to all jobs. But but not today, not today, not today. Um, for uh, people who want to try product management, obviously there are two routes. We're seeing two routes. One, corporate. Other, startup. And I will ask the both of you, just give me two minutes and uh, be partial, <laughs> be impartial to this con. con of, objectively speaking, I just, want, I just want you to share, share what, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, joining a, a corporate uh, a team if you want to start uh, becoming product manager or going with the startup route. Uh, you first, L. Um, like anything else, you know, two sides to a story. It's always two sides to a story. So both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Um, mm -hmm. with corporate corporations, like I've mentioned earlier, you know, you'll have resources at your disposal. Um, there's also somewhat that sort of process that's already established at the same time. Um, whereas with a startup, you'll have more freedom. That's one thing. You'll have more freedom and control over and product ownership, which mm -hmm. is which is a good thing. You know that makes a lot of people feel fulfilled. Um, so it's basically you have to weigh the pros and cons and figure out which is more important for you or which has more weight for you, because both have their own advantages and dis disadvantages. So it's a matter of finding the right fit. For your personality, for your goals, for your um, own vision in life. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, how about you, Nexi? What she said. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Well played. Um, 
Well played. Um, write that down. Write that down. And anybody wants to become product manager, the, that, no that, 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 that can be useful more often than that. Oh, what <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, I agree with what Elle said. Um, it really depends on your preferences. If you feel like you're more fit into having like um, the resource, resources ready, um, the processes ready. Um, but if you want to have more adventure, I guess, adventure, um, go, <laughs> go to uh, a startup setup uh, where you can... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> where you can be uh, more free and deciding uh it's yeah it's you setting up the process it's you setting up uh you know looking for resources uh so yeah it's it's two different things but it all it is all up to you uh whichever you prefer but yeah pm is still a 360 job whether you're in a corporate or in a startup so <laughs> just in battle, i guess <laughs> Well said, well said. Okay, um, I've already asked that question. Of, um, so, I'll, but I'll get to I'll get to the facts, everyone. Um, uh, after this show, or maybe later before we end, I'm we're going to give some time to Nexi and L so they can tell you how you can connect with them so you can start your journey with a startup, aka theirs. Um, should uh, you know? Should uh, should you know this could be the start of a a, a journey? This could be the start of discovery. Uh, speaking of all journeys, though, um, I think it is time for our Q and A and a poll. Oh, actually, uh, 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 for the audience, you can ask questions into the chat right now to see if there's anything else you want to ask our speakers today. If you want to know how to apply to <laughs> um, uh, uh, to to their companies, by by all means, um, you can uh, if uh, for the audience, you can use the interface um, on your desktop right now. You'll see on the lower left it says grab man it, grab the mic. I think it's it's grab the mic. Uh, you can click on grab the mic if you want to say or ask, if you want to say something, if you want to ask a question, we're going to leave it open so that the audience can uh, grab the mic, so to speak. You know, this could be a video okay thing. You know, run the world, if you're, if you're, if you can hear me, I, you probably are. Um, this could be a video okay thing. I'm just saying. No? Yeah. Okay. Just write that down on product ideas. You heard it here, uh, here first. Um, but yeah. Uh, ask away in the chat right now or grab the mic if you want to speak. Oh, we have a question for Nexi. Nexi, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to go on mute now. Yeah. Um, thank you for asking the question. Yeah. Um, they're pretty open in hearing my ideas. So it, it was their great process. But I think in order for a new PM to really earn their boss's um, trust, I guess, um, you you have to back your decisions or your ideas with data, why this would work, why this would not work. So fighting for your idea is really something that's helpful in your PM. Uh, what do you think, Ed? Yeah, I think um, data is a good way to back up your ideas. Um, do a lot of research. Um, fit lay down the pros and cons of your ideas. Um, it helps if you know what the cons are so that when your bosses ask, okay, but this blah, blah, blah will lead to this particular con, then you already have an answer for that. Um, it helps to think about the different scenarios or different questions beforehand so that you're prepared when you um, come into that meeting, you know how you're going to defend your idea, defend, uh, yeah, defend the feature that you're fighting for or something. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, chat is still open for some questions. Again, if you want to try uh, uh, speaking or grabbing the mic, click on the icon in the lower left. It should be the fourth, fifth one from the furthest to the left where it says leave. Don't click on that. Just click on grab the mic. Oh, I, I just did a voice like, like one of those games. Oh, what was that? I sounded like 
uh, Jack in the Box. Quickly. Anyway, uh, I'll, okay, again, the chat is open for questions for our audience. If you want to ask away, uh, do you want to ask how to apply? You can! You can. Um, by the way, while you are watching the show, you can follow us on YouTube. It should be on the link on the chat. And if you scroll up, you can see some links to uh, some of the learning uh, online learning literature that our speakers mentioned about. Um, we have mountaingoatsoftware.com slash blog up there. Um, we also have www.edx.org where restless learners change the world. Oh, thank you. That was interesting. Um, okay. Oh, I, I, we're going to give it just a few more seconds to see if we have any more questions. If not, I think it's time to turn to our poll. Um, by the way, aside from the poll from the show, uh, we would really love if the audience would help us know better, uh, will help us know how we can do these shows better because this is a, uh, well, we're trying to keep it weekly. Uh, 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 every two week thing, we'd love to know or uh, uh, get your opinions on how to make things better. Uh, poll is now up uh, uh, on your screens. And the question is, do you have a tech related background or course? Uh, let us know by clicking on links. Again, this is all made possible by uh, one of our sponsors, which is ChatBuddy. Um, but check out, um, this will probably be the same tool we'll use again next time. It's a great feature. It just allows these real-time polls to come up on the screen. It's very interactive. And when if you had joined in very early, you'd have seen a video playing in the background. We also played videos from our speakers talking about their products. Again, you can talk to our speakers directly because they are looking for <clears throat> um, partners in that journey. So um, if you'd like to know more about their products and their themes, um, uh, let us know. We can absolutely connect with you with them directly or you know shoot your shot you're on you're on chat right now let them know oh send us send us a job link send us a job link no <laughs> um but yeah it's, it's available right now oh my god i'm still connecting people to jobs i'm still in caliber i've never left uh uh uh, uh but that's 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 the thing I'm, I'm connecting people i'm connecting people okay um we are done with the poll i uh, do we I think we still have one more poll. No? Yes? Um, while we're waiting for it, um, please, please follow future shows for Product Key H. We try to do this every two weeks. We uh, make the freshest content <laughs> available for uh, our viewers and our org members. Uh, really, our goal is, again, connect product managers and would-be product managers to each other and to industry leaders, uh, like the, the, the two speakers we have today. So you can start joining in right now. Um, uh, our website is, I'm going to just post our website so you can join us anytime. Click on the link on chat that I've just posted. You can also read up on our profile, which we will share later. Um, but, you know, the reason we really do what we do is because we want as many people as we can to be introduced to start their own journeys in um, product management become a product manager. And uh, and honestly, I'd say 90% of the time why I, I, I love doing this job is I get to say, oh, I work in tech and you can too. So um, start your journey with product management today. Um, uh, follow Product PH for more content and more news about how you can make that hop happen. Oh, we've just had a great resource shared on the chat. It is called Hacking Growth by Morgan Brown and Sean Ellis. I will try to 
put here a link so you can read up on a synopsis very quickly. It is available on Amazon. So if you have delivery there, then you, you know, you can go ahead and just click on the link and order very quickly. Let me just post it right here. Thank you for sharing that, L. Okay. Uh, next poll, do you think a tech background is important for product management? Um, okay, uh, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, we are product PH. Um, we try to do this, uh, our content every two weeks. We'd really love to hear from you. Our link is found in chat uh, on the right side. Please follow us uh, as soon as you can. Click on the link, click on the link. We've got more content coming in. We're coming in with that show. It's gonna be devs and QA. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it might be a thing. Um, um, but before we go, let's have a quick group fee. Is it group fee or group fee? Let's go with group fee for now. Uh, if you could turn on your cameras, we'll have a quick group fee. That will be amazing. Now go selfie. Oh. Okay, take a photo. How? What? Okay. Okay. Oh, you can take your own uh, a selfie for the group fee. Is, is that how it works? Oh, you can take a selfie. Okay. Uh, everybody, uh, the audience, you can take a selfie by clicking on, on the link and then our teams will assemble it. I, I don't know what the word assemble means. Um, but click on the link to take the selfie and we'll put it together so we can have a group fee. I've just taken my, oh, the platform will put it together. Oh, see, another great feature from um, our sponsors today. Uh, please click on the link so you can take the selfie and the platform will just put it together on a group fee. I see six people have already done it. Uh, sign up now, we've got 23 people in the show. Uh, please click on it, uh, click on the selfie as soon as you can. And if you could uh, take a few minutes of your day to give us a quick survey, just so we can get feedback on how we can make these shows even better for the future. Okay, it is eight. 29 we're going to get one more minute before we sign off uh before we do i want to thank everybody for taking the time to join us on a weekend uh it has been a great show and i want to thank our speakers for today uh l and, and uh nezi for taking the time to uh, really share your experiences uh, but it doesn't stop there if you want to talk with them more um uh l has posted some links on our chat uh nexi if you want to post something there real quick uh, but you know we've still got time um i can give it i can give the uh floor to nexi and l uh, nexi do you want to take a few minutes uh to uh talk about your company very quickly before we sign off uh yeah sure um so yeah we're hiring so if you're QA or a product developer uh, who has experience in ReactJS, uh, we're looking. Um, and then let me leave my link here, uh, LinkedIn, and then we can connect. Thank you. Out thank you. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, everyone. Outstanding. Uh, L, I see you've already posted quality move. I like it. Uh, I'll give you a few uh, minutes to talk about. Uh, uh, who you're looking for? Give a quick shout out out there to our audience. Okay, so again, we're Umpisa. Um, Umpisa is in the process of developing its, or has already developed its first digital product, which is Kamada, a prop tech business. Um, we are hiring product QAs, um, those who are familiar with test automation, that would be a good addition to our team. Um, mm -hmm. Aside from QAs, we are also looking for full stack developers um, and business analysts. That's it. Out outstanding. Um, I don't think that we, I don't think that was enough time to to really know more about your products. Uh, so we'd love to invite both of you again uh, but the next time, we want to know more about your products, not just the journey. 
we want to know um, what all of that uh, happiness uh, has made for your products. Uh, we'd love to have you again. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you for our speakers. Thank you for the teams in Product EH who helped set that up. Thank you for giving us the time to get ready for today. Um, is is product PH and this was making the leap, breaking into IT product management from non-IT background. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a great Bye. weekend, everyone, and thanks for having us here. Bye.